Greasing the groove is an excellent way to supplement your workouts. This may include daily push-ups and pull-ups not going to failure. A classic strategy is doing these exercises every hour. And it's the accumulation over time, the days, the week, the months, that add up to an insane total workload. And this will inevitably raise your work capacity, strength, and even muscle size, which is honestly a great thing. So I say as long as your recovery abilities are not impaired, do as much volume as you possibly can. Now that said, there's one thing that I never hear trainers talking about, which is doing grease in the groove in a weighted fashion. Guys, put this in perspective for a second. There are many people all over the world employing this time proven method, yet they all have different body structures. You got taller guys, shorter guys, people weigh 150 pounds, 200 pounds, even 250. They're all using it. So I say, what's the problem if say you weigh 150 pounds and you decide to do weighted pull-ups every hour. If you're already strong at pull-ups and your wonder max is say 135 pounds, which is extremely realistic by the way, what's 50? Not that much in comparison. You can easily rep that over 10 times. So the percentage of your wonder max is always gonna be on the lower side if your absolute strength is up there. That's why I see no issue in doing this technique weighted, especially for exercise in which the repetitions are gonna be that much higher, like a dip or a push-up. You might be able to do 30 dips in one shot. Your push-ups might be 50 plus. Are you gonna do grease in the groove approaching those numbers? I don't have an issue with it. I prescribe this all the time. I love prisoner style training, but you can also modify those variations. Say doing pseudo planche push-ups every hour instead. Basically, the variations don't have to be that simple. Use harder progressions. This way the sessions will not only be quicker, but arguably more efficient and will do a much better job at raising your strength. Now, some guys are gonna say, well, Alex, my plan is to do 10 repetitions in the first place, so why should I add weights? My point is that you're not going close to failure anyway. So it doesn't matter. The percentage is still going to be lower, but you're getting a slightly better training effect. Your recovery is not impaired. And like I said, there are people who are naturally heavier who are gonna do this. What if you bulked up and gained 20 pounds? You'd be doing the same thing. So why not add 20 pounds to the lift? Guys, I'm not telling you to go extremely heavy. This could be one third of your regular working weight, but one third is still better than doing nothing in terms of the accumulation that I was telling you about before. Because 10,000 pounds of easy work is not the same as 10,000 pounds of medium work. That's what I'm saying. It's the intensity that goes into this. And if you're not strong enough right now, you don't have to. But if you wanna employ it, add little weight jumps and I think you'll benefit greatly from it. Now, there's one final thing that I wanna talk about, which is, fatigue leading to form breakdown. If you are that person who's using higher repetitions, you may find that going weighted allows you to do classic bodybuilder set rep ranges. So if you're gonna fail at rep 15 to 20, and now you're doing eight to 10, there's gonna be less form breakdown with that compared to a set of 20 to 30. On push-ups, I see a lot of guys starting half rep, they don't keep their body very tight, they cheat the movement. Pull-ups are not maintaining that back tightness. And there are many exercises in which the form starts to look a bit ugly. And even though that will work from a muscle building standpoint, you are ingraining false movement patterns, which is not really ideal with calisthenics. So sticking to reps of say five to 15 being the highest is probably what you should be doing. And if you're adding weights and you're far away from failure and the percentage is still low, you're gonna be fine regardless. So you might as well do it. So it's just in your best interest to do the exercise properly, do grease in the groove as intended in that particular way. And with that said, there's not much else for me to say. I think this is a great way to enhance this technique and get a bit more out of it long-term. Give it a shot, let me know how it goes for you, and I'll talk to you in the next video.